Amazon is raising its minimum wage for hundreds of thousands of workers, including those here in Jacksonville. But there's a catch. The company is phasing out incentive programs and stock options. Action News Jack's Kevin Clark is live on the north side. Kevin, workers you spoke to have mixed feelings about this. Yeah, employees here at the Northside Fulfillment Center said they were excited to learn about the minimum wage increase, $15 an hour, but later learned it wasn't so simple. Sherry Mathias helps load shipments into Amazon's Northside Fulfillment Center, and she was pleased to hear about the company's minimum wage increase. Amazon is a hard place to work. It's, it's where we really appreciate everything we get, and this was a big increase for us. Our productivity should go up. Starting November 1st, Amazon will pay hundreds of thousands of workers $15 an hour. The change will affect many of them at Jacksonville's two fulfillment centers, but at the same time, the company is phasing out incentive programs and stock options for workers. A lot of people are kind of mad about it, but some people are happy. It just depends who you talk to. Jalen Brown tells me Amazon's RCP program offers workers regular bonuses if they meet certain performance metrics. While that's going away, he says the trade-off works out for him. I like it. It's uh, more money on my paycheck. The company sent me a statement which reads in part, we can confirm that all hourly operations and customer service employees will see an increase in their total compensation as a result of this announcement. In addition, because it's no longer incentive-based, the compensation will be more immediate and predictable. I could go either way. I work for other companies that I have 401k and stuff like that. So this, you know, it hurts that we won't get no more stock from Amazon. We'll have to buy it. All new at 11, why one employee believes losing incentive-based pay in the long run will hurt. Kevin Clark, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.